welcome, Noel. What is all this? Well, today is Science Day! Oh, that's so cool. Yes. Is that what these clothes are for? Well, besides looking amazing, yes, that's what they're there for. <laughs> or yours. Well, you have to snap. Oh. <laughs> Exactly! <laughs> yes! Awesome. So today is science day. How so we're fun. gonna start with a nice, easy experiment. I have some baking soda. Okay. I have some blue vinegar because everything's Ooh. more fun with food coloring. Oh, Everyone yeah. count down with me. Three, Three two, two, one! one. Whoa! Whoa. Yes! Oh my goodness. That is so cool. Look at that blue Whoa. volcano! Volcano. I know, they normally come in red, but this wow. one is blue. Alrighty, so we have this first experiment. It's bubbling How over. Fun. Now, our wow. second one is one I've actually never done before, oh, no? so we're gonna try it right here at Bridge Ooh, Kids fun. Online. What's it called? Now, this is called the Absorbing Candle. Oh, that sounds like a monster on Scooby-Doo. I know, it kinda does. So I'm gonna pour some water right here into the plate. Okay. Now, I have that water in the plate. Nice yes. and empty there. I have this lighter. Ooh, Be sure to ask kids. your parents with fire. There we go. Guys, we saw how bad I am with fire. Be safe. All right. Be safe. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it over the candle. Okay. And what's gonna happen is all of the oxygen is going to be absorbed and eaten up by the candle flame. Oh wow. And then once that goes away, it's actually gonna change the pressure and water is gonna shoot into the candle. Oh, Let's try it. Wow. I hope it works. Alrighty, here we go. Starting, it's starting. Yes! This is amazing. Isn't that crazy how the water and the flame, they kind of work together to yes. create this awesome scientific experiment. Wow, the water's rising. It is. Now, in our story today, there's actually some fire and some water. Oh, how does that work? Well, the only way to find out is by going to the Bible Bible started at the beginning in Genesis with creation. And we're going all the way through the entire Bible ending in Revelation. And last week we learned about King David and how God has a special plan for your life. Yes, he absolutely does. But, Noel, what are we learning about today? Today we're learning about Elijah! Elijah! And we are learning about Elijah and how he defeated 450 prophets of Baal. By the power of God. Because he didn't do it alone. No, so, no, no. let's check out this story. Elijah went before the king and told him that there would be a drought in the land of Israel because they had turned against God. King Ahab was angry, so God told Elijah to hide in a ravine. It did not rain for three and a half years. Three and a half years? God had the power to stop the rain. But God protected Elijah and his people. Elijah was even able to show God's love to a widow who needed food. King Ahab still would not follow God. He served a fake God named Baal. Elijah challenged the prophets of Baal to show everyone God's glory. He took them to the top of Mount Carmel and challenged them to ask their God to light an altar with fire. There wasn't just one prophet of Baal, or 10, or 50, or 100, or even 300. There were 450 prophets of Baal. They were all chanting and praying to their fake God. But do you know what they heard back? What? Nothing. <laughs> Elijah said, maybe he's sleeping. Chant louder. They chanted for a half a day, but nothing happened. Then Elijah created an altar to the one true God. He took four stones to make the altar. He put wood on the altar and then did something crazy. He had them pour four jars of water onto the altar. He had them do this three times until the altar was soaked. Then Elijah asked God and a pillar of fire came down. It burnt the stones, it burnt the wood, it even burnt the water. Everything was gone. God showed his amazing power to the people and how he is the only God. We serve a powerful God. Yes, we do. 
Guys, we serve an amazing God. He created everything. Everything! He created everything. Guys, he created the science that we can see all of these amazing chemical reactions. Yes, if he didn't create oxygen, we wouldn't have seen this. If he didn't create water, we wouldn't have seen this. And if he didn't create oxygen, well, we would be in some trouble. We wouldn't see each other. <laughs> exactly. So guys, God is amazing. Amazing. And he is so powerful that even though there were 450 50 prophets of Baal and only one prophet of God, God showed that it doesn't matter because his power is the one that is most important. Yes, all powerful. Now imagine what would have happened if Elijah would have gone out there and been like, you know what? I'm going to light this altar. I'm going to make these stones go away. Would that have worked, Noel? It would not have worked because there's only one God, Isaac. There is only one God and it is through his power that Elijah was able to defeat the prophets of Baal. Yep. Now guys, we can remember every week that we serve a powerful God. He yes. is the God that created you and me, and he created each and every one of you, and he has an amazing plan for you. Amazing plan, remember that. So I want to see some of your awesome science experiments. Maybe you get some baking soda and vinegar. Maybe you ask your family to help you do the absorbing candle experiment so that we can remember that we serve an amazing, powerful God. Yes, we do. And if you do that, tag us at Bridge Kids Ministry on Instagram. And guys, don't forget to subscribe below so that way you don't miss a single episode of Bridge Kids Online. Yeah. Now, Noel, before we leave, it's time to pray. Would you pray for us? I'd love to pray. In three, two, one. Father, thank you so much for this time together. I pray that you will continue to help us know how much you love us and how powerful that you are and that we serve a mighty, mighty God. Lord, we love you, and we thank you for everything that you do for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Guys, until next time, we will see you later. Bye. Bye.